Welcome to Pro Football Talk, everyone. My name is Max Denberg. I'm joined today by Dylan Dayton and Ari Friedman. We have some three big topics that I don't think people are enough for talking about. First, let's talk about underrated quarterbacks. Not the top five, no Brady, Rodgers, Wilson, Wentz, those kind of people. Right. Name an underrated quarterback that no one's talking about that's going to have a breakout season for you. Dylan, first. Ryan Fitzpatrick. Fitzmagic. Yes. Yeah. Nobody believes in him this year. I mean, last year he had a pretty productive season. But I think this year with the Miami Dolphins, he is going to have another breakout year just like you have the Buccaneers. And I really think he's going to start throwing, you know, 30-yard passes down the field. I think he's going to propel that Dolphins team possibly to a playoff spot. I mean, they're in a very tough division, so it might be a long shot. But I think Ryan Fitzpatrick is totally going to be one of the most underrated quarterbacks. Next. It's a great chance. We'll see how they work out that Fitzpatrick-Rosen dynamic. Um, Ari, you? Everyone is taking an absolute crap on Lamar Jackson this year. I know he's a run quarterback, and those... They don't have good track records, but he was only his first year last year, and everyone is completely writing him off this year as he's going to have next RG3. He's never going to play again, basically. Give him a chance. He's working on his passing game this offseason. He's getting bigger. He's still fast. He can get out of any tackle. Give Lamar Jackson a chance this year. I, I, I think he's a very similar quarterback to Michael Vick, and I think both of them had the similar problems. We'll see. Baltimore's yeah. in a really tough division. Course, yes. uh, I think Matt Ryan, no one's really enough to talk about it. He's going to have, a, I think, a great year, too. Let's talk about overrated teams. We have a lot about Kansas City, New England, all Packers, all these teams. Tell me a team, Ari, for certainty that's completely, if people are talking about that's going to have a chance at the Super Bowl that you just don't see happening. Yeah, Browns are, I don't think the Browns will live up to the hype this year. The problem with having two elite quarterbacks, like I know Odell is really good, but Jarvis was their star quarterback, uh, uh, wide receiver, too, yeah. wide receiver. The problem with that is that they're both going to want the ball. They're both going to be fighting a lot. It's going to create a terrible dynamic in the clubhouse. Also, they you, you need to actually perform with them. I, and saying that they're going to go to the Super Bowl this year, like a lot of people are saying, I don't think it's going to happen. Maybe playoffs, but. Browns are right. And again, new coach Freddie Kitchens taking over, and I think it's going to be an interesting dynamic. They trade Duke Johnson, by the way, also this morning. Uh, Dylan, back to you. What's the team that we're all talking about that we shouldn't be talking about with the Super Bowl? I mean, come on. It's it's the Dallas. Uh, yeah, Dallas, Dallas Cowboys. Dallas Cowboys. Yeah. I mean, come on. Everyone's been talking about the Dallas Cowboys, and oh my God, Ezekiel Elliott's holding out. Oh my God, we got Dak Prescott. Oh my God, we got all these like young, talented players together on one roster. Yeah. Man, they're going to flop. Yeah. I just don't see them being able to mesh together. All of these players have such big egos and big yes. heads that. You know, it's, there's not going to be enough space for all of the players to fit in. It's just yeah. going to be sort of a three-man roster. And we've learned from the past that three-man rosters can never get the job done. You need a full team to win an NFL Super Bowl. You, yeah. ju you just need a full roster. But then you know he's going to be on the field. Right. Exactly. He's he's not, he might even not be on the field. Dak might not be happy with the end. Who knows? Okay, so to wrap things up today, shock, surprise, surprise for everyone here at home, uh, Super Bowl predictions. Uh -huh. So everyone has their Kansas City. It really feels like it's Kansas City, New England, the AFC. And it feels like it's pretty wide open. Any pick is really cool now for the NFC. Uh, Dylan, start with you. What is your AFC championship and what is your NFC champion? Well, I mean, you know, I, I, I was talking about this with a few people before. Obviously, I have the New England Patriots. There's, yeah. there's, no, there's no debating this. As long as Tom Brady's in that starting QB position yeah. is not injured, even at 41, 42, 43 years old, he's still going to be kicking some ass. It's just yeah. that's the way it's going to happen. Yeah. Um, for the yeah. NFC, I mean, you know, a lot of people have been talking about how the Saints were robbed. Last year with that with that passing interference call against the Rams, it's like it's like I'm looking at it like this. Drew Brees is aging. They know that their window of opportunity for a championship is starting to close, and I think they're going to capitalize on it. Yeah. Kamara's young, youthful, has a quick first step. I think he's going to have no problem outrunning the competition. I really think that they're probably one of the most one of the most underrated like major teams. Mm -hmm. They're not underrated in general, but they're underrated for major teams, and so I think they're going to have no problem getting to the Super Bowl. Uh, let's go to you, Ari. So he has Saints and Patriots. That seems like a very interesting, different um, schemes. What do you have? I do agree with the Saints. Even though everyone says that their defense isn't that great, they still made it all the way to NFC Championship game easily, no problem. They did get screwed out of the Super Bowl last year with that PI call, but I think they will be back at it this year. And just as good as ever, they got Breeze, Kamara, um, Michael uh, Thomas. Thomas, right. Thomas yeah, of yeah. course. Um, but I think they're going to be the NFC championship champions easily. One that no one's talking about for the AFC is these LA Chargers. LA Chargers. I know that that Philip Rivers, everyone craps on Philip Rivers all the time. He is still a very, you know, a solid quarterback. And they have the pieces. They have insane defense. They have Keenan Allen. Melvin Gordon may not be there. Austin Eckler, great backup. Um, Mike Williams, another great wide receiver. So 
Yeah. I think Saints Chargers is going to be my Super Bowl this year. Saints is very interesting. As an Eagle fan, we know Alshon Jeffrey catch away, they could be out. <laughs> but right. as a whole, as a great prediction, that'll do it for us on Pro Football Talk. I'm Max and Rick Dylan, Dan Freeman. We'll see you soon.